How to Invest in Your First Rental Property For those who are interested in investing in real estate, a rental property might seem like their best go for making cash and growing their net worth. Despite this, it's not as easy as just buying a new house and expecting people to move in and pay you on the first day. Welcome to the 9 to 5 Rebel, and in today's video, we'll show you how to invest in your first rental property. Stay until the end of our video to learn all the secret tips and tricks you should know about rental investing, and also subscribe to our channel for more great videos like this one. Without further ado, let's begin. Buying any kind of property is a very significant investment, so you might as well do it right if you're going to invest in it, whether it's cash or by taking a loan. The best part of rental properties is that it can be incredibly lucrative and start making you cash from the get-go. However, to achieve this you have to make sure that you purchase a property that people actually want to live in, as you definitely wouldn't like being that person who invested in a property no one actually wanted. One of the first things you should bear in mind is the development of a landlord mindset, which should be your go-to task before you even begin searching for properties to purchase. Did you know that most people who get into real estate end up quitting beforehand because they don't want to deal with what's called handyman stuff? That means you're probably going to be in charge of hammering a few nails here and there, refurbishing some floors, and working to improve your property by yourself. Most property owners do the house chores themselves to save their own money and use it in what truly matters. As you get the hang of real estate, you'll understand that you might need to develop some handyman skills if you're to keep your properties in shape. It's either that or spending money on having someone else do it, so it's always good to learn yourself in case of an emergency. Learn your way around a toolbox and how to do some basic home repairs and you'll be set to go to the next step. Next, before investing, you should also pay any kind of personal debt. An expert real estate investor could carry debt as part of their investment portfolio and that's a very smart move. But not all real estate investors have a portfolio or are masters of the art of the debt either. So if you're just the average buyer, try to pay down your personal debt as much as you can before dabbling into this business. That means credit cards, student loans, unpaid medical bills and other kind of debt unless the return from your real estate is much greater than the cost of the debt. If that's the case, then you shouldn't worry about it that much. But on the contrary, if your real estate returns are lower than your personal debt monthly payments, then focus on whittling those down and then go ahead and purchase your property. The secret sauce of successful real estate is none other than the location, location, location of your property. You could have a massive mansion for dirt cheap prices, but if it's located in a terrible neighborhood with clogging drains and bad weather, then absolutely no one is going to live there for more than a few weeks at most, turning your investment into a failure. Add to that the fact that you need to pay off your mortgage somehow and this will make your real estate journey harder. That means two important things. One, you need to have a good location, specifically if you're taking out a loan to pay for your investment or if you're using a mortgage as a financial instrument. Two, if you're to be successful in real estate, your location is what matters most. A good location is one that has a lot of development, low property taxes, a decent school district, nearby parks, malls, restaurants and movie theaters. Low crime rate and high employment rates never hurt anybody either. Online, you can search for these traits in the locations you're interested in purchasing. Now's the time when you consult with the property manager. Asking questions and getting the proper information from them is essential to a good investment. Ask them about the average rent in the area and how much an investment property like you might actually rent for in the area. You can, of course, also find that online, but my personal tip is to ask the property manager directly. This information will provide good insight on how certain property managers are able to rent out higher than average properties. You will also be able to determine how honest the property manager is keeping in mind that you will want to work with them for the long term anyway. Also, please don't forget a homeowner's insurance. Most people hate having to pay extra for something that might never happen, but the truth is that if accidents never happened, insurers wouldn't even exist in the first place. Don't place unnecessary risk on your newest investment purchase by failing to obtain homeowner's insurance. Just as you did with the property managers, be sure to call around and speak with a few local agents to compare prices, packages, and of course coverage. Make sure to avoid fixer-upper properties, in which you pay much less or think you strike a bargain for a property that you'll eventually fix up. You can do this after you have more experience in real estate investments, but for your first rental property, the best idea is to go with one that's ready to go. Burr Method The Burr Method is short of buy, rehab, rent, refinance, and repeat. This framework is incredibly interesting, as it describes a strategy used by investors to build passive income over time by renting the properties they pretty much refurbished from the ground up. 
These are basically the steps that you need to implement in their exact order to rehab a property and proceed to rent it to possibly interested tenants. The first step of the strategy is to, of course, buy the property. As we've seen in other strategies, you don't need to buy the property cash to set it up for rentals, but building a major part of its equity would be extremely beneficial. There's also an intersection between making sure the property represents a sound investment deal and also performing well as a rental property. The next part of the strategy is the rehab, the first R. A recently purchased rental property won't be ready to use from the get-go. You need to identify how to make it livable and functional for your tenants, as it will also not clean after itself while you're searching for someone to buy it. This might be a significant investment, considering that you needed to purchase the property in the first place. On the other hand, when you refurbish the property, it's going to be 100% more appealing to possible tenants. Just make sure not to make excessive home makeovers or upgrades that will end up costing more than what you could be able to produce using rental income. The next part of the strategy is the fun one that we've always been waiting for, the rent. Once the property is prepped up in the rehab phase, the rental phase is the one that comes up next. Once you finish screening and selecting your tenants, it's time that you rent the property and seal the deal. Next comes up the refinance stage. Once your property has been refurbished and also rented, it's time to refinance it to make the numbers work. Some banks will offer a cash-out refinance, while others will only offer to pay off outstanding debt. Of these two options, you will want to select the former. You will also want to make note of the required seasoning period, which indicates how long you must own a property before the lender will consider refinancing, against the appraised value of the property. Finally, another great thing to do is using the cash-out refinance from your first rental property to fund the acquisition and rehab of a second one, hence the repeat in Burr. A cash-out refinance will offer you extra advantages, including favorable interest rates, compared to other sources of cash. So what are your thoughts on rental property investing? We know it might all sound complicated or overwhelming, but with time and practice it can be extremely profitable. Let us know what you think down below, and also don't forget to leave us a like, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more great videos like this one. We hope you enjoyed our video, and we'll see you next time.